Welcome to the iconic universe of Star Trek, The Next Generation, a groundbreaking TV series that first aired in 1987. This installment in the Star Trek franchise took viewers on a journey to the 24th century, exploring the galaxy with the Starship Enterprise and its diverse crew. As you reflect on this series, you may find yourself pondering questions like, out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? Or is there a particular scene or moment that has had a lasting impact on you? These questions serve as a testament to the enduring legacy of TNG, a show that transcended its science fiction roots to become a cultural phenomenon. Now, let's delve into some random facts about the show. Did you know that Star Trek The Next Generation was the first syndicated television series to be nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series? Its success not only solidified the enduring appeal of the Star Trek franchise, but also demonstrated the power of syndicated television. The show's commitment to diversity and inclusivity was groundbreaking, featuring a multicultural crew led by Captain John Luke Picard. This commitment extended to the storytelling, where complex moral and ethical dilemmas were explored with thought-provoking nuance. As we navigate the vast expanse of this series, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Star Trek, the next generation. Your stories and insights are the fabric of the fandom, and we would love to hear them in the comments below. Engage with us and let's celebrate the enduring impact of Star Trek, the next generation together. What role resonated with you the most? Is there a scene etched into your memory? Share your stories and let's continue the exploration of this iconic series. Star Trek The Next Generation, launched in 1987, boldly propelled the iconic Star Trek franchise into a new era of storytelling. Set in the 24th century, a century after Captain Kirk's adventures, the series follows the crew of the US Enterprise D under the command of Captain John Luke Picard played masterfully by Patrick Stewart. The show was a pioneer in its exploration of moral and ethical dilemmas, showcasing the evolved and enlightened ideals of the United Federation of Planets. The ensemble cast, including memorable characters like the android Lieutenant Commander Data, the empathic Counselor Troy, and the Klingon Worf, added depth and diversity to the narrative. Characterized by its commitment to diplomacy and philosophical narratives, the next generation offered a fresh take on the Star Trek universe. The series combined futuristic technology with humanistic themes, engaging viewers in thoughtful discussions about morality, exploration, and the nature of humanity. Its impact on popular culture is immeasurable, cementing Star Trek as a cultural phenomenon. The show's success led to spin-offs, movies, and a lasting legacy that continues to influence science fiction storytelling. Star Trek The Next Generation remains a testament to the enduring power of visionary storytelling and has left an indelible mark on the landscape of television, inspiring generations of fans and creators alike. The iconic character Data in Star Trek, the next generation was originally intended to be the chief science officer on the US Enterprise, donning a blue uniform. However, due to a clash with the android makeup, the plan shifted. Data became the chief operations officer, consistently sporting a gold uniform throughout all seven seasons. This alteration highlights the meticulous considerations involved in bringing the futuristic world of Star Trek to life. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into the 1987 TV series that reshaped science fiction storytelling. Denise Crosby's departure from Star Trek, the next generation stemmed from her dissatisfaction with the character development and a desire to pursue movie roles. She credits Gene Roddenberry for understanding her reasons and respecting her decision to leave, highlighting a departure from the norm where producers might enforce contracts. This departure, marked by professional understanding, sets a unique tone for the show's production dynamics. Crosby's case sheds light on the balance between artistic fulfillment and contractual obligations in the television industry, a balance crucial for sustaining a successful series. Jonathan Frakes brought an unexpected twist to Star Trek, the next generation when he returned for the second season rehearsals sporting a beard. Originally intending to shave it off before shooting, the producers liked the look and asked him to keep it. The beard became iconic for his character, Commander Riker, lasting throughout the show's run. 
It even became a notable reference in the series, with the character Q sarcastically mentioning that Riker was more fun before the beard. This seemingly small decision turned into a lasting and memorable aspect of the show, showcasing the interesting dynamics behind the scenes of this influential 1987 TV series. In the early stages of Star Trek, The Next Generation, G. Roddenberry faced a challenge with the absence of scenes set in the Enterprise's engine room. Paramount Pictures, reluctant to invest in building the set, initially refused to fund it. To overcome this obstacle, Roddenberry revised the scripts for the pilot, Encounter at Farpoint, incorporating the engine room scenes. This adjustment not only secured the necessary resources, but also added a crucial dimension to the series, emphasizing the meticulous planning behind the creation of the iconic 1987 TV show. The practical considerations in shaping the next generation extended beyond script revisions. Paramount Pictures, foreseeing budgetary advantages, believed that launching a sequel or spin-off series would be more cost-effective than directly reviving the original Star Trek. This strategic decision aimed at minimizing salary demands, particularly from established actors. The studio's approach to production costs played a significant role in shaping the cast and the overall dynamics of the show, setting the stage for the success that followed. Amidst these production decisions, the casting of Patrick Stewart as Captain John Luke Picard brought a unique perspective. Stewart, prior to landing the role, had never watched a full Star Trek episode or movie. Unaware of the series' iconic status, he felt no intimidation in accepting the part. This unconventional entry into the Star Trek universe allowed Stewart to approach the character with a fresh perspective, contributing to his masterful portrayal of Captain Picard. In conclusion, the behind-the-scenes decisions, from script adjustments to strategic casting choices, played a pivotal role in shaping Star Trek. The Next Generation Gene Roddenberry's adaptability, Paramount Pictures' cost-effective approach, and Patrick Stewart's unique perspective all contributed to the success of the groundbreaking 1987 TV series. As we warp away from the final frontier of our discussion on Star Trek, the next generation, I invite you to engage your warp core of nostalgia and reflect on the cosmic journey that this iconic 1987 TV series took you on. Just like the star-studded crew of the US Enterprise, your personal voyage with Captain Picard, Dana, and the rest of the intrepid crew has undoubtedly left its indelible mark on your cosmic consciousness. Take a moment to let the echoes of Make It So resonate through the corridors of your memory. Whether you were moved by the profound wisdom of John Luke Picard, enchanted by the enigmatic android data, or inspired by the utopian ideals of the Federation, the next generation was more than just a show it became a stellar companion, guiding you through the uncharted realms of morality, diplomacy, and the very essence of what it means to be human. Now, I extend an open comms channel to you. Share your favorite memories, the episodes that still echo in the silence of space for you, or the characters who became your intergalactic mentors. Let your thoughts navigate the vast expanse of our shared love for this groundbreaking series, connecting us across the light years that separate us. Your stories, musings, and warp speed reflections are the nebulae of our collective fandom, illuminating the universe of Star Trek, the next generation with the brilliance of a thousand warp cores. Thank you, intrepid explorer, for joining me on this warp through nostalgia. Your time and interest are the dilithium crystals powering the warp drive of our conversation. Live long and prosper, and may your memories of the next generation continue to soar through the cosmos.